Virtual production is simply a way to combine live action with computer-generated locations. I'm Rene Amador. I'm the co-founder and CEO of ARWall. ARWall started in virtual production using LED backdrops, and we were one of the pioneers in the new XR LED backdrop space. Today, we're at ButcherBird Studios building something very new. It's a live virtual production system with real-time green screen compositing. Our mission here at ButcherBird Studios is to really push the boundaries of what's possible, especially in the area of technology where it intersects with cinematic storytelling. What we've learned is that to stay on the cutting edge, you work with partners on the cutting edge. Butcherbird approached us and they said, we want to get involved in the virtual production space. Is there an independent solution? The challenge has been trying to figure out how to take green screen footage that we shoot live on this stage, place it inside that virtual environment and send that composite back to a monitor that our camera operators are using. To build a custom solution, we decided to piggyback on the Vive trackers that we've already been using for LED backdrops, and we did something new. We wanted to add lens emulation and lens tracking to that. We wanted to make sure that if the focus, if the iris, if the zoom changes on our broadcast lenses, we wanted that information to flow through to Unreal Engine in real time. So we went to Canon. They were able to provide expertise and gear that was required for, for us to do testing. Anytime that our small team of engineers had a question, Canon was there to provide that answer. They had come out with lenses called the Compact Servo and Cine Servo, which have a five pin serial port. And we were able to get the metadata from that lens port in real time into Unreal Engine. So the result of that is you can move the camera, you can zoom and rack focus, and everything will be perfectly composited with that CG plate in the background. As a filmmaker, what this allows you to do is see your final product while you shoot it, instead of imagining it and hoping you get it right in post. Now we can get away with moving at the speed of inspiration. It is now possible for independent filmmakers to have the tools of virtual production at their command, at their fingertips. And that is a really exciting place to be right now.